temperatures typically are. As we head on into the evening, we'll see temperatures right around freezing again, close to the nine o'clock hour. And then that lack of cloud cover tonight, at least less of it around, will help temperatures fall even farther by tomorrow morning. We'll start off in the mid and upper 20s. Tomorrow, the wind chill, though, will be in the teens, so we'll feel about 10 to 15 degrees colder than what we felt this morning. So prepare for a much colder start out the door for your Tuesday and then on into the afternoon. We'll see a mix of sun and clouds, temperatures, upper 30s, lower 40s, rather quiet as we head through the next several days. I think we could see a few flurries, especially late on Wednesday. Some more sunshine returns as we get into Thursday before the clouds fill back in at the end of the week. We are closely watching a system that will come on Saturday. It is going to bring us the chance for rain, a wintry mix, even some snow showers possible and possibly some measurable snow out of this. But there are some big questions on the track of this system. And if we see any shifts in this, it'll greatly vary the type of precipitation we see and if we see any at all. So this is something that we're going to watch very closely as we head towards the weekend. But for the next several days, aside from a few flurries, really things pretty quiet. I have 37 today. We'll drop down to the mid 20s early tomorrow. Remember feeling like the teens heading out early Tuesday if you're heading back to work. And as we get into tomorrow afternoon, slightly warmer. We'll look at temperatures in the lower 40s. A few flurries possible on Wednesday, a high of 39, 36 on Thursday and 39 on Friday. Overall, Temperatures are going to be much closer to average as we head through this first week of the new year, and we'll be watching that system for potentially wintry weather 